Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1794, American inventor Eli Whitney received a patent for the cotton gin. In 1864, celebrated American railroad engineer Casey Jones was born in southeastern Missouri. In 1870, the California legislature approves an act clearing the way for the Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. In 1879, German-American physicist Albert Einstein is born. In 1883, Karl Marx dies today. In 1885, The Mikado by Gilbert and Sullivan premieres in London. In 1888, New York City receives 21 inches of snow, its second largest snowfall in history. In 1899, German Ferdinand von Zeppelin receives a U.S. patent for a navigable balloon. I bet you can figure out what it is called now. In 1900, the Gold Standard Act is ratified, placing United States currency on the gold standard. In 1903, the first national bird reservation in the United States is established in Sebastian, Florida. In 1907, by presidential order, Japanese laborers are excluded from entering the United States. In 1910, the Lakeview Gusher oil spill near Bakersfield, California lasts 18 months and accidentally releases 9 million barrels of crude oil. In 1913, the South African Supreme Court declares that marriages that are not celebrated according to Christian rites or are not registered by the registrar of marriages are invalid, thereby nullifying all Muslim and Hindu marriages. In 1923, the German Supreme Court prohibits the Nazi party. I guess prohibit had some wiggle room. Also in 1923, U.S. President Warren G. Harding becomes the first president to pay taxes. In 1926, a train in Costa Rica falls into the Rio Varilla, killing 248 people and injuring 93 more. In 1933, British actor Michael Caine is born. In 1939, Nazi Germany dissolves the Republic of Czechoslovakia. In 1940, The Road to Singapore, starring Bob Hope, Bing Crosby, and Dorothy L'Amour premieres. It is the first of seven so-called road films. In 1941, Nazis forbid Jewish-owned companies in Holland. Also in 1941, Xavier Cugat and his orchestra record Babalu. In 1942, penicillin saves a person's life for the first time. In 1950, the FBI's 10 Most Wanted Fugitives program begins. In 1951, for the second time, United Nations troops recapture Seoul during the Korean War. In 1954, Milwaukee Braves home run king Hank Aaron hits a homer in his debut game against the Boston Red Sox. In 1956, 50 year old baseball star Satchel Paige signs a contract to play for and manage the Birmingham Black Barons of the Negro National League. In 1958, the first gold record is officially certified. It was Perry Como's Catch a Falling Star. Also in 1958, South Africa's government prohibits the African National Congress. In 1964, in the first courtroom verdict ever televised in the United States, Jack Ruby was found guilty of the murder of Lee Harvey Oswald, who was the assassin of U.S. President John F. Kennedy. In 1967, the body of President John F. Kennedy is moved to a permanent burial place at Arlington National Cemetery. In 1971, the Rolling Stones leave England for France to escape taxes. In 1972, at the 14th Grammy Awards, Carole King's It's Too Late and Bill Withers' Ain't No Sunshine are big winners. In 1973, future U.S. Senator John McCain is released after spending over five years in a North Vietnamese prisoner of war camp. In 1979, at least 200 people are killed when a plane crashes into a factory in China. And just the next year, in 1980, a plane crashes during final approach near Warsaw, Poland, killing 87 people, including a 14-man American boxing team. In 1987, at the 13th People's Choice Awards, Clint Eastwood and Meryl Streep win for motion picture, and Bill Cosby and Sybil Shepard win for television again. In 1990, Mikhail Gorbachev becomes president of the Soviet Congress. In 1991, the Birmingham Six are released, 
as they had been wrongly convicted. Also in 1991, the Dave Matthews Band performs their first show. In 1992, Farm Aid 5 is held in Irving, Texas. Performers include Willie Nelson, John Mellencamp, Neil Young, Bonnie Raitt, Tracy Chapman, Paul Simon, and Mary Chapin Carpenter. In 1993, today was the 3,000th performance of Nonsense on Broadway. In 1995, astronaut Norman Thagard becomes the first American astronaut to fly to space on board a Russian rocket. In 1997, President Clinton trips and injures his knee, requiring surgery. In 2004, Vladimir Putin is overwhelmingly elected to his second term as President of Russia. In 2005, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees include Buddy Guy, The OJs, The Pretenders, Percy Sledge, and U2. In 2006, Mike Wallace retires from the news program 60 Minutes after 37 years. In 2011, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees include The Alice Cooper Band, Neil Diamond, Dr. John, Tom Waits, and Leon Russell. In 2013, seven people are killed after gunmen storm a bar in Cancun, Mexico. In 2016, NASA releases data showing that February 2016 is the warmest month ever recorded globally. In 2017, the European Court of Justice rules that companies can ban staff from wearing religious symbols, including headscarves. Also in 2017, the world's oldest golf club, Murfield in Scotland, votes to admit women as members for the first time in 273 years. In 2018, theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking passes away at age 76. Also in 2018, a NASA study of twins finds that astronaut Scott Kelly is no longer identical to his twin brother after he spent one year in space. In 2018 as well, the World Happiness Report names Finland as the world's happiest country. In 2019, tropical cyclone Ida comes ashore in Mozambique, killing at least 417 people. And lastly, in 2021, a UK police officer is charged with the death of Sarah Everard, who disappeared walking home in South London. So that was today's episode. It was kind of a short one. So to make up for it, I think that you should watch a couple of others. They're right there in front of you. Go for it. 